what's up everybody welcome back to my channel guys good morning as you guys can tell by the title of this video it's a breakfast mukbanger okay um you guys there so i don't have no eggs currently here in my house baking nothing so i was like you know what i told my husband you know what let's go ahead and order some breakfast and so we did And they're over there eating their breakfast and I'm over here doing this. And my baby just got fed. She's in her little swing. But I was like, I should have just kept her here with her mama while she does a little mukbang. But it's fine. If she starts tripping, I'll go get it right now. But anyways, I got myself a hash brown. Mm. Y'all know hash browns from Mickey D's are the bomb i got the big breakfast as you guys can tell with the eggs the um i was like where's my sausage but it's down there the eggs the sausage the um actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put my pancakes on this one do you guys do the same thing as me like keep it you know i open up my biscuit and i put my eggs in there and my sausage and there you have it, a sausage egg um, biscuit sandwich for um, breakfast. And then with my hash brown, got me a napkin. Um, oh, I got some ketchup, my own ketchup. I, I forgot to ask for a packet, packet ketchup. Oh, I did bring... Um, Oh, it's on my utensils, but I'm like, where's my sauce? I might have to go and get my sauce. But good morning, everybody. If you guys are watching in the morning, good morning. What y'all eating for breakfast? Um, I was like, I decided to do a mukbang today, guys, for you guys. Um, and yeah, but yeah, let me. Here's my pancakes. I put the whole thing, y'all. I know a lot of people just like put half of it or they put little by little. Girl, not me. I put all of it. And then some butter. I also have a drink, guys. I have a vanilla iced coffee, which I'll show you guys right now in a minute. I remember I used to get a lot of um the, I used to get the um apple juice. I mean, not apple juice, orange juice a lot. Um, but now I get the iced coffee, which is not that good, but you know, it's something guys, not better than, for sure, not better than Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks is way better, you know, but it is what it is. All right, guys, there it is guys. Oh, my drink. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Let's bite this thing first. Dip it on some ketchup. Mm. 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 Comment down below what you guys get from um, in McDonald's breakfast. So, when you guys order from DoorDash or if you guys do or whatever, if you guys don't, that's good. If you guys do, that's good. Um, but if you, oh, that's better, guys. Look, but if you guys do. One second. Let me go get my sauce. All right, guys. Had to go get this picante sauce because my daughter got some uh, sausage burrito and it came with these sauces and I love them. 
Even if I don't get burritos, I still love it. <laughs> That's how you know I'm Mexican because you need a little spice or whatever. But anyways, guys. Um. Anyways, we were talking about DoorDash. Does your guys' DoorDash people struggle? Well, I live in apartments. And... Mm. Mm. A lot of the times they struggle getting my food to my door. And I get it because, girl, I'm hidden over here. Our apartment complex is pretty big and we're all the way in the back and I hate it. So you guys know how in the app you can see the little car coming to your house or whatever. Every time I see them coming the right way, but then I see or a bee, but the bee, and um, they're going the opposite direction. And I te I message them and I'm like, "You're going the wrong way. Come back." <laughs> And a lot of the times I message them and they text back or whatever. They're like, really? But sometimes they don't. So sometimes I, if they're taking too long to find it, I call them to help them out or whatever, you know? But usually they find their way. They, that's their job, you know? Anyways, fun fact, guys, I used to, I used to work doing DoorDash. But yeah, guys, I, you, I used to work for DoorDash and um, a part-time job. Honestly, you guys, it, it's really easy to sign up and apply for it and stuff, and then um, in the mail, they, 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 they deliver your little bag to put your, um, food in if it's hot or whatever. Um, a sticker logo to put in your car. Um, hand sanitizer, a few things. Well, when I worked for that, it was around COVID season, so... It came with hand sanitizer, a mask. So. But it was cool while it lasted, you know? It's not that hard, honestly. And all you're doing is driving. So let's say you go to a location, let's say Chick-fil-A. From that Chick-fil-A, the order that you get from there, the food where you take it, it's like five minutes away, six minutes away. It's less than six minutes away, for, that's for sure. So for example, you don't get food from Chick-fil-A at a, at a spot, right? And you don't go driving like an hour away to go deliver the food, no, which is a good thing. Um, what they do is they find people in your area and your the food location areas where you're at. That way you won't drive a super far distance to deliver the food, if that makes sense. Which is good, you know?
then when you're done with that order right away on the on your DoorDash app thing that you have for work there's already a new there's always going to be a new order coming in <clears throat> and the cool thing about it is that you could accept it or not accept it it's pretty cool and you can work as many days as you want and um, as many hours as you want. You can stop dashing at any time, at any point. And then you can collect your money and put it in your little wallet thing. But you don't get it until like I think every Thursdays or whatever. And... Sometimes you can see if the order is really worth it. Um, if you look at the tips or if you look at the certain location where you're gonna drive, you have to be smart about it, you know, because you don't wanna go to a place and then they're not gonna tip you and it's a super far location where you have to take it, you know? Um, but if they do tip you and it's pretty far, you just have to kind of make the math and, you know, go from there. But. It's not bad if you're like a college student or I don't know even I don't know anybody to be honest just for extra cash it's nice I know some of my family members um do it they have a, a job but they do it for extra money so you know mm. The pancakes, <clears throat> they're so fluffy. Mm -hmm. I'm full, y'all. But I'm almost, I'm almost done. Guys, I love doing mukbangs. I love eating on camera, so. Um, if you guys want to see any mukbangs, let me know. I might do a Popeye's mukbang pretty soon because I'm craving a, um, a, a chicken sandwich from Popeye's. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> mm -mm, girl, I just had my baby. No, no. I actually pranked my mom yesterday. Guys, I had to go for my baby. This is my husband and my daughter watching a movie and it's freaking loud. And you know, I'm just, I wanna get her used to the noise and stuff. But then I'm like, she's a baby, her ears are sensitive. I mean, I don't know what y'all think. Is it good for babies to be around loud noise? Comment down below. But, is this, yeah it is this one. See, this is the life of a mom, y'all. You're eating and you stop eating and all that because of your baby. And it's only moms that do that. Men can just eat and do whatever they want without worrying about nothing. <laughs> so shout out to all you mamas out there. Hey, mama. Yeah, shout out to all your moms out there. Y'all doing it, huh, oh, mama? <clears throat> All right, I should just want to sleep. So, 
all done guys that was delicious but yeah guys comment down below if you guys think babies need noise or they're sensitive to noise or or what you know because i think they're sensitive to noise but my husband doesn't but i don't know mm. all right guys also guys guess what i didn't have anywhere to put my food leveled up here so you guys can see the food so i have you guys in some diaper of uh, diaper box <laughs> Cause comment down below if you're not a big fan of the nice coffee from McDonald's. I'm like, do they even put coffee in it? Because I taste nothing but like the flavor. Like mine's French vanilla. That's all I taste. So I'm like, does it really have coffee? Cause I order it because of the coffee, not because of the flavor. I don't know what y'all think. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you guys enjoyed this little mukbang or whatever breakfast mukbang that I did for you guys this morning. Comment down below if you guys want to see more mukbangs or anything like that. Um, let me know, let me know, girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. If you have not, um, and shout out to... Um, Everybody that has been watching my, uh, but I gotta go because my baby is tripping.